if you've been following us on Instagram, then you probably know that this thing over here is our brand new project car. So we sold uh, my old 2016 Polo GT TSI, which was a great car for me. It was my first car and we did a lot of things with it. We tuned it to stage two with auto disc performance. We took it to the valley run for drag racing. And in fact, it was so good at that, that we won the A4 category at the valley run. So this is my second project car in that lineup. And this is a 2011 Skoda Lora TSI. I really wanted to get a bigger engine and do some proper, proper mods to it. This time we have a big budget and we have a lot of things to do with this car. So I'm going to hop into this. We're going to head down to Autodesk Performance and we're going to tell you this, uh, the things that this thing uh, needs to get fixed with and the things that we're actually going to do with it. So let's head down. So I'm currently on my way to Autodesk Performance and on the dash, uh, Shreyas will put in a clip. We have three yellow lights on there which is not a good sign but I'm hoping that it's not something very major because when we were buying the car we inspected it thoroughly so at that time there was nothing that major so I'm guessing that this is also not going to be that major. Um, it's a very nice driving experience I am not going to lie. My GT TSI was a DSG car, so I did not have a lot of control over it. Uh, whereas this, this is a six-speed manual, so I mean, I can blip, I can heel and toe, and I'm overall just going to be a better driver because it's a manual car. And I mean, this is one of like the best sedans you can buy in a budget, in my opinion. You get a big, powerful engine up front. You have a lot of tuning potential, and in my opinion, the Lora looks kind of nice also. So, yeah, I mean, I really like the driving experience. There are of course a few things which are not the best when it comes to the Lora. Very heavy car, so braking performance, um, uh, like you need to get some good pads on here ASAP. As we all know Volkswagen cars, uh, the steering is not the most communicative thing on earth. So that is another thing, but overall I like the driving experience. The suspension is nice and supple, although that's going to go out the window if we're going to do any sort of suspension mods to it. But yeah. I really like it, the shifter is nice and crisp, you can nicely blip it. So this is the engine bay of the Lora and I'm pretty sure everyone knows the specs and figures for this thing. But if you don't, this is just a quick rundown. Uh, this is the 1.8 TSI engine, it's a 4 cylinder turbocharged unit. Uh, it produces 160 horsepower and 250 Nm meters of torque as a stock car. Our plan is to take it to stage 2. Uh, we're going to do all of the bits and bobs needed for that. Uh, we're going to do an intake, coils, spark plugs. And before that, I just wanted to show you the engine bay, so as you can see, uh, a few things are missing from the engine bay, so the first thing and the very obvious thing is the engine cover, so we're going to have to order that. And there's a massive component actually missing and it's the intake system, so uh, it does not have an intake pipe or anything like that currently. So it's just feeding hot air to the engine which is not good for it at all. That's why it's continuously running on the intercooler fan to keep everything cool, but it's not happening properly. So we're going to have to order this part very very soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Again, like I said, I'm going to do a proper stage 2 uh, setup on it. So we're going to do the intake, we're going to do the coils, we're going to do the sp uh, spark plugs and I'm going to look at a downpipe today. So wait out for uh, uh, episode 2 for the downpipe fitment. So yeah, that's basically it for the engine. And there are a few more things that are not proper on this car, so I'm going to show you that as well. So that's there with the engine problems. I'll show you the second very major problem. So 16 come around another 16 inch wheel this is another 16 inch wheel and if you come on to this side over here we have a 15 inch wheel 
So this is another major problem that the car has when I bought it. It has three 16 inch wheels and it has one 15 inch wheel and the Stepney also is a 15 inch. So I have ordered tires and wheels. I'm not going to reveal what they are right now because I of course want to show it into in another episode. So yeah, 60, three 16 inch wheels and one 15 inch wheel. So that is also a major problem. So while you're driving, you can feel the little, you know, 15 inch wheel doing its best trying to be there with the 16 inches, but yeah, it does not work properly. So welcome to the interior of my Skoda Laura and I mean it's a pretty clean interior off the top if you look at it as a casual viewer you won't find the small bits that are broken here and there but there are quite a few things that don't work properly in this car so first up it's the AC control so uh, the AC fuse or something has gone wrong I'm not really sure even Niranjan and the people at Autodesk are trying to find out what exactly is wrong with it but it does not work on one does not work on two does not work even on 4, it only works on 3. So it's either you die in the Sahara Desert if you turn the AC off or you uh, die in a Russian prison if you turn it on 3 because that's the only fan speed that works for some reason. So we have to figure out a way to fix that. Uh, then apart from that there are just a few small bits here and there that are broken like this light switchboard over here. Uh, my gear knob is not in the best shape possible, even the cover for the gear shifter is not in the best shape possible. Uh, I have a large chunk of foam or whatever you want to say, this trim over here, it's just gone. I mean, I don't even know how that happens. Uh, this is, a, I don't even know, I really don't know what to say about it. So this is not there and apart from that, it's a pretty normal interior, there isn't that much wrong in it. So a few electrical problems like the AC thing is over here, even this uh, cigarette uh, port is not working. And another major thing is that this thing does not have Bluetooth, so I can't listen to music. So I have to find out a solution for that as well. But apart from that, it's a very clean interior. The seats are in amazing condition, as you can see. And there aren't any other problems as of such in the interior. So as you saw while driving, I had three yellow lights on the dashboard. Uh, one was the engine check light, and as you can see, the engine is right here. This is, ah, this is just a stupid joke. Uh, second was uh, a light bulb kind of effect, uh, light bulb kind of sign. So that was actually for the turn indicator. So this side, uh, the left hand side turn indicator is not working on my car. So that bulb needs to be changed. So that was uh, the other uh, yellow ch uh, check light. And there was another one, which is the fuel, 108 rupees. Anyways, so the engine check light is related to the O2 sensor. It's not directly related to the engine. The engine's running fine. Nothing of that sort has gone wrong in the engine. Uh, it's related to the O2 sensor of the engine, which is near the exhaust system. So that has, I think, so come a little bit loose or the sensor is not working. We still haven't found it out. There were three error codes in total uh, with the uh, when we did the scan with this car. So it was the O2 sensor and two temperature sensors. The temperature sensors are related to the AC, so that's why the AC is not working properly. And the O2 sensor, like I said. So we're going to find out how to fix that. And yeah, that's it for today's episode. I'm just going to shut this. Project car things, I guess. So, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope that you will like this series. We're going to put a lot of effort into it and we are going to put a lot of money into this car. This is going to be a proper, proper stage to build and it's going to look epic. I would like to say it would be one of the finest looking Lauras in Pune at least. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what I should name my car because I usually name my car something. My polo was called something very offensive for a lot of Germans and a lot of Europeans as well. So I'm not going to say what it is. I'm just going to type it in the comments down below. Uh, my Alto is called the Dhanraj. So that is one thing. My scooter is called Dhan Lakshmi. And my dad's ex Vento is called Schmidt. So comment down below what I should name my new Laura. And thank you so much for watching. The next episode is going to be about the downpipe for this car. So I really hope you watch that episode as well. Stay tuned for the next episode.